Traveling Hoop Group. I'm Jessica and I'm here to bring you your Thursday night traveling tutorial. Um, tonight for the tutorial I wanted to do wraps, um, shoulder and hip wraps. So we'll get right into it. Uh, I'm going to start with the hoop in my right hand and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it around across in front of my body and when you're looking at the hoop in front of you, you want to think about it like a clock. And I like to think about the spots, you know, 10 and 2 on where you would see on a clock on the hoop. And that's where I want to put the hoop down on my body when I'm going to do the wrap. Um, you'll find too, if you have a bigger hoop or a smaller hoop, you've got to find, you know, your sweet spot where you actually put the hoop. But once you find that right spot, you'll find that the hoop goes right around your body pretty smoothly. And it does. It takes a lot of tries, a lot of practice. Um, but once you get that, you know, that right spot, you'll be able to be doing all these crazy moves and go right into a nice wrap and it'll come right around you like bam, you know, into isolation or whatever. Um, so basically, again, you're going to bring the hoop around in front of your body and you're going to put it down right on your shoulder here about what I would call, you know, 2 o'clock. And then what you're going to do is you're really not going to use that much force. You're going to kind of let it fall around behind you, you know, give it a little bit of a push. And I like to kind of duck forward and kind of, you know, hunch my shoulders over to let it, you know, round out my back so that the hoop can actually go around me. So I turn kind of like this. So when you bring it around, again, I'm going to put it down right on my shoulder over here. I'm going to give it a nice little push and it comes right around and I'm going to grab it again with this hand. Now it's the same concept with a hip wrap, except the way I like to think about it with the hips is Spongebob. Bring it around town. If you don't go out and around, the hoop really has nothing to sit on. So if you, you know, once you push out, you give that little shelf with your hip here for the hoop to sit on. And again, you want to aim for that two o'clock spot because the hoop's got to have enough room for it to actually roll across your body. So if you start here, when it rolls across, it'll end up about over here. So I'm going to put the hoop down on my hip over here. And as soon as I do that, I bring my hips around. So ready? I'll go across and you go around and the hoop will travel right over and just till you get to this end point here and then you can grab it and go right back into a shoulder wrap or whatever other move you want to go into. Um, one thing I find fun with wraps is to also do portals. I'm in a little bit of tight space here, but basically you come around and you can jump through, go into a wrap, jump through, go into a hip wrap. Um, so yeah, those are wraps. So I hope you guys all enjoy. And if you have any questions, as always, you can always uh, uh, comment on the uh, post underneath or email us at the Unity of the Traveling Hoop Group at gmail.com. And as always, please go out, make us a tutorial. We want to show your videos. So please go out, make a trick. You know, not make a trick, but show us a trick that you learned that, you know, you're comfortable teaching to other people. Film yourself and send it in. And your video could be on the Unity of the Traveling Hoop Group next week. Have a good night, guys.